Hi, I'm Karen from Willow Run Crafts. Today we're going to show you how to make a alcohol ink necklace or bracelet or whatever you want under glass using aluminum foil and alcohol inks. I made these bracelet, uh, these necklaces this weekend and I had so much fun. It, they're just beautiful and I think they're even more beautiful in person than you can see through the camera. So what I do, is, what I need to do is I start out with my aluminum foil. How big of a piece you want is your choice. But you just kind of roll it all up, get it all nice and crinkly, and then you get to unfold it. And that might take a few minutes to unfold it. You got to be kind of careful. As you know how it is, how fun it is to work with aluminum foil in the kitchen. Just got to be careful so you don't tear it because you want it to just be one solid piece. The end's okay to tear, but you don't want anything in the middle to be all torn up. All right, so once you've got it pretty much all out, then you need to flatten it. You can flatten it with a rolling pin or with a, any type of roller that you have or with your fingers, which this is what I'm gonna do. You just kind of get it all flattened out because you want that alcohol ink to be able to get in there and get all the color through the crevices and stuff. Just really a cool, cool design that this makes. And just do it till you feel that you're comfortable with the design, it's your choice. So I have one that's a little bit more flatter that I worked on a little bit a while ago. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move that out of the way so I don't get any alcohol ink on it. What you do is just start out with different colors of alcohol inks. Take, you know, pick your two or three, however you want. Um, I'm gonna use my, um, this is, can't even read it. Um, I think it's a plum color. Nope, this is my plum. Here's my butterscotch, and here is, um, it looks like it, it's a green type of color. <laughs> anyway, I need my glasses. I should have them here and I don't, but if I get it closer up, this is called, um, still can't read it. Okay, anyway, it's a green color. My photographer's laughing at me. Anyway, here we do is we just do some drops on your aluminum foil, just, just here and there. You don't want a lot, but you want to be able to cover it because we're going to be doing is covering all this. And now here's my plum. And just kind of blend it all in there. You can make as big of a piece as you want or depending on how many necklaces you want to make. I could probably make four, four 25 millimeter necklaces out of this. Now I'm going to add some butterscotch to it. Get some yellow in there with the green and the plum. Which is really kind of pretty. I love, love, love this. This is so fun. You could probably do this on uh, craft paper or even cardstock. It's just going to have to be really gentle with how much alcohol ink you put on there. Now, the last thing you want to do is put some blending, alcohol blending um, solution on there. And that just kind of just do some drops here and there, and that just kind of blends the colors. You can see all those colors blending together. That is so cool. I love it, love it, love it. This is just a really neat thing. As you can see on the necklace that I already made, it's really cool. And that's it. Let it dry overnight. And um, in the morning, it's gonna look like, where'd my piece go? Oh, here it is. So this is just a little small piece that I have. It's got the same colors on it. It's all dry, looks really nice. 
and I'm going to punch a hole out my one inch and there we go and I have a pendant tray here with my glass so what I'm going to do is put um, a little bit of E6000 in here which I have right here. Let me open it up. There we go. I'm going to put a little bit of that in there just to make so that my aluminum foil will stay in there. Stick it right in. Wow, I love those colors. It's like a sunburst. Isn't that just cool? With this flower, sunflower tray that I have in antique silver. That looks so cool. So then the next thing I'm going to do is put some diamond glaze right on my glass here. And this is what's going to attach the glass to the aluminum foil piece. And you just put it right there. Just kind of give it a good little push and let it dry overnight. Have fun with this. There's so many different colors of, of the alcohol inks out there that you can, the possibilities are endless. I mean, I've used the same three colors and look the difference in all three of those trays. Just, just so pretty. Love it, love it. Enjoy creating.